thought I wanted to give you a quick intro to uh, Rhino uh, 3D. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, make a, a box and we'll drill a hole through it. Okay, so really simple. First thing you notice, you got these four different uh, views. You got the top view, front view, a, a right view, and a perspective. The way this thing is laid out is so that you can import um, drawings, basically, like a PDF, for example, and let Rhino build the part for you. Or you can import a picture, um, an image, and then you can trace the uh, part. So that's kind of the way this thing is laid out. It's kind of laid out more for a draftsman. Um, so you got, again, these four perspectives or views of the part. Um, then you got all these different command lines and you got lines up here, uh, not command lines, but menus. You got this menu up here, you got this menu here, you got menu here, you got them down the side, you got them on the right, you got them on the bottom, all over, okay? Everywhere as you turn. You also have this command line, which basically helps tell you what the what, what it is uh, uh, that you're doing with the program and tells you what the next step is. So it's kind of uh, very helpful. So what we're going to do, we're going to build a box and uh, make it real simple. We're going to go up here and we're going to click on solid, okay, on this top menu here, solid. Let's go down to box, corner to corner. Um, one of the things we want to make sure before we get started actually is make sure we have this ortho clicked, which basically ensures that we move it um, everything at 90 degree angles to each other. And then also this uh, grid snap so that you're snapping to the grid makes it easier to you know make a nice uh, uh, you know incremental object and then I also click center here which I think is helpful for the purposes of this box building okay so let's go back we're ready to go ahead and build a box go to solid box corner to corner height okay let's click that Go to the center here, that origin kind of pulls us over 10, pull it up 10. Okay, and I click my left click, mouse click button. Now I'm going to scroll down to the this lower front view so I can give this box, see how it goes up and down, and I can give it the right height. I'm going to make it a cube so I'll see how it snaps into these different, you know, that's that grid snap going on there. 10 by 10 box, and there she is in the perspective view. Now you can go over here to perspective view and you click on any of these down arrows or any of these views and you get this type of uh, menu and you can show a shaded, okay? How do you want to show it? I mean, there's a rendering of it, okay? That's that's pretty cool. But let's go back to shaded. Um, got all kinds of other options too. Now we're going to, we want to drill a hole through the box, okay? So let's go back up here to the Top menu, hit solid, and let's put in a put in a cylinder. And uh, since I have the center connected, uh, selected, I'll just make it a uh, radius of uh, three. Oops, uh, yeah, it's three right there. And then I'll go down here to this front view and make sure that it's high enough so that it comes out of the cube. I'll make it even with the cube, it snaps right on it. Now I've got a cylinder and a box, pretty cool. All right, so now I'm just gonna subtract the cylinder, if you will, make it negative to the, bo the, the box. So you go over here again to solid, and you use some of these, what are called Booleans, and you go to select difference down here at the bottom. And if you read up with the command line, it says select the surfaces, or poly surfaces to subtract from. Well, we're gonna subtract from the box, so we click on the box, okay, we hit enter. Now, what are we going to subtract from? We're going to subtract the cylinder. Okay, so we so select surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract with. Well, we're going to subtract the cylinder and hit enter. All right, it drilled the hole right through the box. Okay, so just a very simple demo of uh, how uh, Rhino 3D works. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks. Thanks.